Hi guys, it's me Princess Jewel. So I know I said I would make a makeup tutorial for you guys um, on this video, but you know, I feel like I'm more of a motivational speaker. I'm more of a public figure than a makeup guru. You know, a lot of people know me as a guru on YouTube and I feel bad and I don't feel like a guru just because I don't make enough beauty videos for you guys. You know, I love making them for you guys. I love, excuse me, I'm making a damn video. Thank you. Um, moving on, um, you know, I do want to share you guys my tips and tricks and, you know, um, teach you how to apply makeup and whatever you like. But I feel like, you know, I, I'm on here for a main reason and I believe I'm here to share my story and to, you know, change people's perspective on people like me, transgendered people. Um, but, you know, I feel like I need to make this video just because I've been getting lots of emails and... Um, you know, meeting new people and I just want to share with you guys and educate you guys on people like me. We're not bad people, we're human beings. And, um, you know, I think sending the message out there, people are going to recognize and, you know, I don't care if I recruit one person, you know, if one person, you know, listen to my story and change their views on transgender people, I am so, so happy. That is one less person getting killed in the world. You know, that person could have shot and killed a transgender person, but they didn't. So, you know, I'm proud of what I'm doing on here and I'm sh and I hope you guys spread the message and, you know, be open-minded and open your hearts. Um, we have feelings too, so, yeah. But by the end of the day, I mean, um, you are who you are and, you know, I am who I am and I can't change that. Um, take me or leave me. Um, this is who I am and I'm not going to change. Okay, so I think a lot of people don't know what the word transgender mean. And so I'm going to tell you guys what it means. Um, basically, you know, when you were born, you feel like you're trapped in the wrong body. It's how I felt. I just felt like, you know, I was a girl and, you know, I wake up every morning, look in the mirror, I'm like, what is going on? Like, why do I look like this? Like, it's not me. You know, in here, I'm a girl. In here, I'm a girl. My soul is 100% girl. I was just born in a male body. So that's what basically transgender mean. Your soul does not match what you look like on the outside. So I hope you guys get a little bit more understanding what it is, you know. There is a difference between transsexual, transgendered, and drag queen cross-dresser. They're not the same, they're different. You know, drag queens are the ones that are in theaters, are in clubs, um, they do the dramatic makeup, eyebrows up to here, lips like no tomorrow, and you know, they put on an act and that's not who they really are. Um, you know, they go home, they're, they live as a man, but they like to dress up as a woman. And it's really different because a lot of people think they're all the same and you know, they think I put up an act and you know, I go out looking like a girl, I come home, I live like a boy. No, this is my life. As you can see, this is who I am. Um, I live like this full time. This is who I am. And um, I live myself, I live my life as a girl and a lot of people don't understand that. And I just want to get that point out there. But as you guys can all notice, you know, in my videos, my comments, a lot of people aren't always nice to me. You know, I do get the negative comments and I do get like the hate. You know, a lot of people think my life is very glamorous, very fabulous. No, the reality is I still get shit from people and that's the truth. Um, you know, I have people screaming, you're an abomination to mankind and you should rot in hell. <laughs> well, take me to hell, okay? You know, I don't think I've done anything wrong. I think I'm a very nice person if you get to know me. You know, if you're mean to me, you know, I'm gonna be mean to you, but I'm, I'm a very fairly nice person. And, you know, I do get a lot of hate and I feel like, you know, who does that? Who goes on the computer, go on YouTube, have the time to search down my videos, just to leave rude, mean comments. Like, that's just so negative. Like, do you have that much negativity on in yourself to, you know, click all my videos and start writing hate stuff? Like, I think the problem is that people are, you know, they dislike what they don't know. They fear the unknown. Um, not necessarily fear, but, you know, they don't like what they don't know and not comfortable with. And, you know, I want to tell you that it's totally normal being who you are, uh, I mean, everyone was born differently and, you know, it wasn't a choice for me. A lot of people think it's a choice. You know, you wake up one day and you decide to dress up. No, this is who I am and who I've always been. So I think the main reason is people are uneducated and that's when I come in. You know, I want to teach people. I want to help people. I want people to know the truth about people like me. We're not crazy. You know, I'm a very sane person. I have a good head on my shoulders and I just want to say that 
you know? We're not like the girls on you see on Jerry Springer, like being crazy and acting all dramatic and stuff. No, you know, I do get dramatic sometimes, but I'm a human being, I make mistakes. Um, you know, but I think I'm a very, you know, I, I'm, I'm a normal person, you know, I'm very nice, I'm not different from anyone else. And I just do wanna say something, um, you know, I'm so grateful and so lucky and so happy that I get to meet people from all around the world. They share me their stories, I share them my stories, and it's just great. It's very, ins it's, it's very inspiring. You know, a lot of people on Facebook, you know, encourage me, they inspire me to be who I am. And that's why I'm here in front of a camera talking to you. I also want to talk about relationships, about love, and, you know, I feel like people get pushed by society telling them what's right and what's wrong. Um, there's no line to where, where you need to stop loving someone. No, you can love whoever you want. If it's right in here, then it's meant to be. Um, you know, a lot of people just, you know, I guess they follow the flow, they go with the flow. You know, if a guy over there screams, um, I hate you, you're a faggot, you know, you're gonna be like, oh, I hate you, you're a faggot too. You know, they, they don't, nobody wants to be hated on and I feel like a lot of people follow the crowd and to those people, I think, you know, it's okay, but I feel like they're they're weaker than most people. Um, you know, have the guts to be who you are. I think life is really short. And they won't be the one regretting it. You will for the rest of your life. Just remember that. I find it disappointing also at some places I go, there's, you know, adults who look at me and they're like, oh, that's a boy, blah, blah, back away. Like, I don't understand. Like, I could be your daughter. I could be your child. What am I going to do to you? Like, jump in front of you and be like, oh, hey, do you want to make love? Like, no. And a lot of people like me are, you know, they're respectful and we go through a lot and people don't understand what we go through. We go through pain and suffering just to be us. And it's sad and it's hard enough um, already. But, you know, I'm a very respectful person. You know, when I go to the clubs, people hit on me. You know, they're like, hey, baby, what's your number? Can I buy you a drink? And, you know, I'm a very respectful person. And, you know, I say I'm not interested. I'm sorry. Like, I don't want no surprises. I don't, you know, if people don't know who I am, I don't want them to, you know, be caught off guard or anything of who I am. So, you know, I'm going to respectfully say no and just, like, walk away. You know, no disrespect. I just want to you know, make it good. Um, I think I've talked about a lot already. I've ranted on a lot. You know, I do want to talk about this movie that I absolutely adore. It's called Ma Vie en Rose. Uh, I will leave the link below and you can check it out. It's a full length movie, but it's in French, but there's English subtitles. And basically it's just, you know, a transgender child, um, you know, and their family going through, um, you know, longing for acceptance and it's just very real and if you want to know more about this topic, definitely watch it, um, you know, show your parents. It's a very great educational movie. It's very heartwarming. It's very heart-wrenching. It's sad and, you know, it kind of shows you what transgender people go through. Um, there's also another movie called Soldier's Girl and I just love, 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 love that one. Uh, I'll leave the links of the videos below that you can watch on YouTube, um, which is great, it's very convenient, and I just want you guys to watch it and tell me what you think about it. It's just amazing, and I totally recommend you all watching it. Anyways, I think that is all. I think, I hope you guys have a more understanding of me as a person and my kind of people and just life in general. Um, you know, when I die, I want people to look back at me and hear my voice and just remember the things I've said. You know, I think I'm very mature for my age. I'm 20 years old, but, you know, I just want to change people's views on us. You know, we're not horrible people. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.